Thanks a lot for staying with us. Saudi Arabia hosted an event to promote yoga and its impact in improving the quality of life. The program will be running till December 30 under the umbrella of the Ministry of Sports in Jeddah. Delegates from 11 Arab countries have taken part in the workshops held so far. Yoga's popularity no doubt has spread to the entire world over the last few years with over 180 countries celebrating Yoga Day regularly now. But remember the staunch opposition to Yoga Day and even its introduction in schools for young kids when Muslim Arab countries can embrace yoga and don't consider it a threat to their religion. Why was it opposed so vehemently in India in the name of faith? And why is it that secular and moderate voices did not speak up against such fear-mongering and hardline approach then? Before we take that to our guests, take a look at how yoga was opposed in India. Jamaatul Ulema Hind had called the introduction of yoga in schools an attempt to saffronize education. It went on to add, in fact, that there is an attempt to Hinduize the thought process of Indian citizens. AIM PLB, which is the Muslim Personal Law Board, had said that Yoga Day is a conspiracy to enforce, quote, Brahmin Dharma and Vedic culture. AIMIM, which is a political party, appealed to Muslims in Uttar Pradesh, for example, to offer namaz on Yoga Day instead. Its leader, Asaduddin Uwaisi, said, Surya Namaskar is against the ethos of Islam. So, by asking people to do yoga, it is a violation of their fundamental rights to religion. So, it was even taken to that level. How is it that Muslims in Saudi Arabia or the rest of the world don't have such a big problem with yoga, despite its very Hindu origin? But in India, certain sections of Muslims opposed it vehemently. We debate that next. Let's go across to the guests who are joining us. Anila Singh from the BJP, Ratan Sharda is researcher and author, author of the RSS. Dr. Lubna Kamal is activist joining us. Molana Ali Kadri is an Islamic scholar. Molana Kadri, let me come to you. Why is it that the Muslim world, even some of the most orthodox Muslim countries don't have a problem with yoga? Of course, it is something that is birth of Hinduism or Sanatan Dharm. It has connotations of Hindu worship. I'm not denying that. But why is it that the Muslim world outside of India is not threatened by it? But there were so many clerics and so many political parties, leaders who were so threatened by yoga in India. Actually, Madam, look, first of all, I want to say that don't try to connect yoga with any religion. Because it's an exercise. And as you said in your report, that there are no political leaders who are talking about the Surya Namaskar. तो मैं आपको ये बता दूं कि उस वक्त योगा का जो आसन होते हैं और योगा जो कुछ भी किया जाता है उसको बतौर एक्सरसाइज करने में कोई हर्ज नहीं है रहा सवाल सूर्य नमस्कार हो या उसमें ओम जैसी आवाज निकाली जाती है ये यकीनन इस्लाम के खिलाफ है खतई तौर पर इसको नहीं किया जाएगा रहा सवाल एक्सरसाइज के तौर पर हमें करने में कोई आपत्ति नहीं है और जहां तक के सऊदी अरब की बात की जा रही है तो सऊदी अरब ने अगर योगा को लागू किया है स्कूल्स में तो वो एक बतौर एक्सरसाइज किया है क्योंकि वो हेल्थ के लिए अच्छा है ये हम भी मानते हैं और सारा वर्ल्ड इसको मानता है हमारे उन्होंने मेरे ख्याल से स्कूल्स में नहीं इंट्रोड्यूस किया है वो लेकिन योगा को प्रमोट करते हैं उनकी स्पोर्ट्स मिनिस्ट्री के अंदर प्रॉपर एक योगा प्रोग्राम होता है और उसके अंदर ये एक प्रोग्राम भी हो रहा है बट आपने स्कूल्स की बात करी जब स्कूल में योगा इंट्रोड्यूस हो रहा था तब बहुत अपोजिशन हुआ था इंडिया में उस वक्त तो ये भी कहा गया था कि ये एजुकेशन को सैफ्रनाइज हिंदुताइज करने की कोशिश है और ये हमारे फंडामेंटल राइट्स के खिलाफ हैं तो आपको नहीं लगता कि बहुत ज्यादा डर फैलाया गया था उस वक्त सिर्फ इसलिए ये 2015 की बात है क्या ये सिर्फ इसलिए था क्योंकि नरेंद्र मोदी इस पावर में आ गए थे 
इसलिए डर फहराया जा रहा था देखिए मैडम पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज तो कोई भी इश्यूज को पोलिटिसाइज करना चाहती है और अपने वोट बैंक को फिक्स करने के लिए कुछ भी करती है तो मैं इसको बिल्कुल ही नॉन पॉलिटिकल देखते हुए ये कहूंगा कि योगा सिर्फ और सिर्फ एक एक्सरसाइज की हद तक है जहां तक के सवाल सूर्य नमस्कार का है और ओम का जो लगान बोलना है जिस तरीके से आश्रमों में हमने देखा क्लिप्स में योगा किया जाता है तो वो चीजों पर हमें आपत्ति थी है और रहेगी नहीं आपने बोला कि पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज करती हैं वो बात सही नहीं है मैंने बहुत सारी मुस्लिम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का एग्जाम्पल कोट किया है जमैतुलमा हिंद हो गए एआईएम पीएलबी हो गई वो तो अपने आप को मुसलमानों के ठेकेदार वैसे ही मानते हैं इस देश में कि सब कुछ वो ही बताएंगे मुसलमानों को कि क्या करना है क्या नहीं करना है उन्होंने भी अपोज किया था जब आप कह रहे हैं आज ये की योगा एक एज एन एक्सरसाइज हर एक कोई एक्सेप्ट कर सकता है तो उस वक्त क्या प्रॉब्लम थी इतनी इतना बवाल क्यों मचाया गया था मुस्लिम पर्सनल लॉ बोर्ड के बारे में एक बात आपको जरूर कहूंगा कि मुस्लिम पर्सनल लॉ बोर्ड सारे इंडिया के लिए मुसलमानों के लिए कोई वो हमारी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नहीं है वो एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है और कुछ उनकी फॉलोइंग जरूर है हिंदुस्तान में लेकिन हर हिंदुस्तान का मुसलमान मुस्लिम पर्सनल लॉ बोर्ड को फॉलो नहीं करता मैंने तो सिर्फ एक एग्जाम्पल दिया ऐसी बहुत सी हार्ड लाइन मुस्लिम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन थी जिन्होंने अपोज किया था पोलिटिकल पार्टी और पोलिटिकल लीडर्स भी थे मेरा सवाल यही है Let me take that to Lubna also. Is there an attempt amongst the Muslim community, those who use faith for politics, to basically keep Indian Muslims away from anything that is not from Islam? Obviously, yoga is not from Islam, but is of an Indian ori- origin and of Indian culture and heritage. As an Indian Muslim, you are expected to accept what has come from this land, even if it hasn't come from your religion, because there are multiple faiths that live in India. but there is a section of Indi- indian muslim clerics who want to tell indian muslims that you can only accept of what is from your faith if there is the geeta if there is the upanishads if there are the vedas if there are the shastras if there is yoga you can't accept it then what is the point of being indian if you can't accept these indian cultural markers lubna ji firstly let me correct you uh, that uh, yoga is very much part of islam what do you think namaz is about it is just meditation and yoga combined let me correct you over there the second thing is that no, but, uh, one second one second lubna ji i'm sorry but you can't appropriate yoga as islamic i'm sorry to say this there may be no, similarities no, no. in the way namaz is done that is fine all, but yoga the, predates islam so please let's not get into that all all, all the steps of namaz yes. they are uh, i mean uh, various asanas of yoga only okay fair enough okay so there yeah. should be no problem you're saying yeah absolutely this uh, the the problem actually uh, might be with the mantras and the charan of om hmm. uh, and with the name that of the surya namaskar hmm. but then there should be dialogue uh, i mean uh, people uh, uh, muslims need more clarity on that hmm. uh, they feel that uh, they might be forced into you know saying those things uh, um, uh, rather i would say that the mantras even you know i am a very regular practitioner of yoga my hmm. family the my entire family and we uh, recite those mantras as well because i have gone through the meanings of those mantras the gayatri mantra the om everything so i know that they are very <coughs> uh, similar to the quranic ayats obviously allah is replaced with ishwar and uh, uh, other names uh, mm. for god <coughs> but then it's very similar so i don't have a problem with that but then why is it that then some clerics in india have a problem with yoga to the extent just, that they fear just, just that this is some sort of conspiracy just just let me complete hmm. yes because muslims feel there are because i have been speaking um on this i am a medical doctor as well so hmm. i keep on speaking about the benefits of yoga hmm. but i and i have even spoken to imams of masjid i propose that after fajr namaz that is in the morning uh, 5 am or 6 am they can uh, you know they can have a session of yoga which will be very healthy for all those who are coming for the namaz okay. but they perceive it as just listen, listen to me they perceive it as a tool for saffronization hmm. so there is where we need dialogue that uh, you don't need to you know uh, that om ka uchcharan or uh, it is not necessary uh, that you have to recite those mantras and all but uh, you Lugna know ji mujhe nahi samajh mein aa raha ye bharat kitne hazaron saal ki civilization hai ha aur itne saalon se yahan pe islam hai 
मुझे नहीं समझ में आ रहा कि अब क्यों फियर है ये कि योगा इज सेफ्रनाइजेशन हमारे देश में लोग सेंचुरी से योगा करते आए हैं मिलेनिया से योगा करते आए हैं Why is there a fear about everything? Is was this associated with the rise of the BJP at the central level? Just let me complete. Hmm. Firstly, because of shirk. See, anything uh, uh, Muslims are uh, really ca- very careful about associating anything with God. I mean, uh, with uh, associating partners with God. So hmm. we are uh, really careful about everything uh, uh, that uh, that there there is a possibility where there is a possibility. of shirk mm-hmm. the second thing is that there have been uh, so many things i mean instances where the saffronization has taken place mm. so their like? views are they, their views i mean are not uh, just uh, their views are uh, based on uh, something concrete you it's know, not you that... said there are areas where saffronization has taken place can you give me a few examples <laughs> not at the moment yeah but uh, then there are universities where deliberately uh, colleges even medical colleges you know hmm. where there are de- deliberately people of one particular party are being appointed i don't know what is the agenda behind it if no, it no, party not. appointments take place that has been happening since politics in india but what is saffronization of education in india because this is another bogey i hear oh, and actually the education minister a few years ago said not a single word has changed but anyways hai kya saffronization of uh, education Yes, there are. There is a lot of. Uh, I mean, I was at the Aligarh AMU uh, yesterday only, huh. and uh, they they showed me a lot of things. <clears throat> so that I mean, uh, they were very careful about that. This should not be changed. Like the what? Should not be changed. changed. No, no. I'm sorry. When people <laughs> drop this charge <laughs> of sapphire, okay, once again. what can happen we i we can't debate but when people say and have been saying since 2014 that there is saffronization of education there has to be some concrete example please don't bring politics into this or political figures into this ki iska chapter add kar diya uska chapter nahi add kiya wo different cheez hai but saffronization of education kya hua hai koi samjhaye hame the history has changed a lot like what history has changed bataiye na madam kaun si history change ho gayi I I have no idea about it. I mean, I keep on reading all those things, but exactly. I don't go into the details. Exactly. Unfortunately, it's been claimed, but nobody can give why? examples why? of how saffronization of education has happened. Why? Anyway, coming back to our debate, Lubna ji is arguing Ratan Sharda that there are legitimate concerns of the Muslim community when it comes to yoga because it is often associated with. I mean, Surya Namaskar is only one part of yoga. There are obviously hundreds of other asanas, but Surya Namaskar is something that is done. or promoted a lot as a beginner exercise or as an introduction to yoga and that is something they naturally oppose see no i am not going to convince them why it is secular why it is not hindu etc etc yeah. root of yoga no, yoga, no, yoga no. root of our exercise or uh, yoga which is not just a physical exercise but also spiritual experience and also mental exercise for your mind so it has hindu roots no doubt Hmm. but does it not help people it helps people. so why should you oppose it is knowledge something which will be decided on the basis of from where it comes and remember uh, it is not the first time this kind of language comes wahhabism is born out of india if you uh, the, the whether it is uh, devbandi or brailvi and uh, attempt not to assimilate in a society is a trait of islam if you look at uh, what uh, we talked about is uh, uh, violence in europe uh, yesterday i think mm. and you know that reason was that they don't want to get uh, integrated in the society so that's a serious problem and now uh, if uh, if there is knowledge it was not like this in islam earlier on you know now uh, marwai saudi yoga teacher you you know about rita you know about lamis you know about nora lady uh, alaf all these people uh, girls are doing yoga from from different countries are they less islamic Malaysia does not yoga. Indonesia wants is Indonesia less less Islamic. Is Saudi the home of uh, you, uh, Islam less Islamic? So this bogey of Islam in danger and Saffron is our pious color, sacred color, the color of Bharat. So let us not try to defame it by just throwing rhetoric at us. Yeah, no, and actually, the question I asked during Abbasid, Abbasid, just a very important point during Abbasid Caliphate, entire mathematics science went to Arab. From there, it went to Europe. Arab was not close to Indian knowledge at that time. There was no Hindu mathematics, Hindu science, Al Fazari, Al Al uh, Awazi, and uh, Al Khawariz Kharazmi. All these people translated Hindu texts and took them to Arabia, from where they it went to Europe. 
al hind is the word used for indian numerics so if knowledge is good and islam is not a fear goal why should religion be so weak that you can be disturbed by something which is good for you but comes from another religion no the so point i was making was exactly the this that there is sometimes a mentality that indian muslims will adhere to what is what comes from islam which is natural but they will not partake in anything no, that no. is indian that's but I'm does saying. not come from that's islam now my Shivani. question is how can you that's be indian i said no uh, yes. ratan shah can i just said. can i just articulate this can i just articulate this no, example, how can how okay. can uh, you know yes, how can you be in india but not accept a lot of things that come from another faith that are indian now that you know uh, that encourages segregation that means yes. that you're keeping your faith identity above your national identity and no, saffron no, no, lubna ji one second lubna ji one second i'll give you an opportunity no, no, also the problem that arises is uh, as you were saying of you know just people being together and celebrating things together now by, by that logic even doing namaskar is a problem by that logic even saying namaste is a problem by that logic even wishing somebody's festival is a problem तो आप इसको किस लेवल तक ले जाएंगे जब आप इंडिया में रहते हैं तो आपको कुछ तो इंडियन कल्चर एक्सेप्ट करना ही पड़ेगा ना इट्स नॉट अ थ्रेट टू योर रिलीजन लेट मी टेक दैट टू अनिला सिंह आल्सो ऑफ द बीजेपी अनिला सिंह डू यू बिलीव दैट अ लॉट ऑफ दैट योगा ऑपोजिशन वाज एक्चुअली बीजेपी ऑपोजिशन बिकॉज इट एक्चुअली हैपन आफ्टर नरेंद्र मोदी केम टू पावर इन द सेंटर ही प्रमोटेड योगा वर्ल्ड वाइड ही ऑब्वियसली स्टार्टेड द अटेम्प्ट टू गेट अ इंटरनेशनल योगा डे रिकॉग्नाइज्ड माय राम राम टू एवरीवन first of all uh, my congratulations and appreciation to arabic world promote uh, yoga in their countries and uh, huge applaud to narendra modi ji he is the one who made yoga popular in whole of the world in today's date secondly if i talk about yoga yoga means harmony whether we talk about body and mind harmony or your body balance it means harmony i was listening that uh, perhaps dr lubna or molana kadri one of them they said uh, molana kadri most probably he said that uh, muslim world has got whole lot of problem from chanting om sir aap mat chant kariye waise om ka matlab aapko pata hona chahiye om means uh, sound of universe साउंड ऑफ यूनिवर्स इसका मतलब होता है पर आप ये और साउंड ऑफ यूनिवर्स की जब हम बात करते हैं तो वो किसी धर्म से जुड़ा हुआ नहीं होता है और मुझको लगता है कि कोई भी कोई भी धर्म जो है इतना कमजोर नहीं होता है कि अगर सूरज सूरज की पूजा करे तो वो कमजोर हो जाएगा मैं जिस धर्म से आती हूँ चंद्रमा की पूजा होती है लुभना जी एक बार उनको कम्प्लीट करने दीजिए फिर आपको मैं मौका देती हूँ No, no, Doctor Nopra. You, uh, you know, initially, please, please have some patience, lady. I really expect some patience from you. Okay, when you had, ahead, when you started ahead. talking, I found it very refreshing. But later on, you changed your language and you said that in today's date, education is getting saffronization. That is absolutely wrong. जब मैं जिस धर्म से आती हूँ हमारे यहाँ चांद की पूजा होती है तारे की पूजा होती है और हम बिल्कुल भी कहीं भी इनसिक्योर महसूस नहीं करते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि कोई भी धर्म कोई भी पंथ होता है किसी चीज की पूजा करने से वो कमजोर नहीं होता अपने आप में ताकत होता है एंड लेट मी टेल यू डॉक्टर लुबना नो एजुकेशन कैन गेट सेफ्रोनाइजेशन हिस्ट्री इज हिस्ट्री वेन शिवानी आज यू कोट मी एन एग्जाम्पल दैट हिस्ट्री इज चेंजिंग यू आर नॉट एबल टू आप जैसी एक पढ़ी लिखी महिला भी राष्ट्र चैनल पर बैठकर अफवाहें फैलाती हैं दैट इज वेरी सैड That okay. is absolutely. I give all our guests a final opportunity to make their cl closing arguments. But you know, the point is that at one level, we do have to understand that this is India. This is a land which, for six, seven, eight thousand years, has borne a certain religion and a faith, which is also a way of life, a certain spirituality, a certain way of looking at the world. And there is a whole host of knowledge associated with it. You can't discard it. And if accepting that knowledge is saffronization then so be it that saffronization will happen if it hasn't happened before so i don't think saffronization should be dropped as some it is frankly a political tool but politics should some, sometimes be kept away from these issues yes lubna ji final 30 seconds are you okay aware of what is shift yes i am aware ma'am the other two speakers are they aware what is shift ma'am make your point quickly please लुबना जी अपना पॉइंट रखिए जल्दी आई एम आस्किंग डू यू नो इवन वॉट इज शिफ्ट 
and chantara that chantara has nothing to do with islam why did she quote chantara and what what not nonsense you no. are, people are so ill informed about islam how can we ex expect anything how can we not expect that you will start forcing us to recite all those things i don't have a problem but yes people may might have problem muslims might have problem with that you are so ill informed so who has said Ready that you me. must chant hindu mantras ye to kisi ne bhi nahi bola molana kadri ji madam okay i think we're having some issues with molana kadri's video also but i'll give ratan sharda final opportunity to respond also ratan sharda there is still a lot of let's say there is a bridge that needs to be bridged shivani as i said it is uh, it is matter of molvies that they don't want their followers their flock to mix up with other society because that is their usp they want to keep their people in ghettoized condition so they can drive them as i said during abbasid empire 7th century to 13th century islam was very open they took knowledge from india uh, translated it distributed all over india there are there are people like abdul kalam uh, who was a devout uh, muslim but also uh, yoga practitioner veena practitioner geeta reader there is abdul salam who uh, who this lectures on geeta there are people uh, as i said indonesia is less islamic is saudi to the less islamic it is typical indian issue of deobands and bareilly kind of people who are not okay. allowing these people to enjoy the great heritage that we have indonesia does allow yeah so it is everybody's heritage it is indian heritage yeah, it so must be accepted be and religion, enjoyed by all indians this is not about religion alone if you're from yeah. india you yeah. live in india you're of india you're an indian citizen it's a cultural it is your duty you. to promote all things that are indian it cannot be always from the prison of religion I do thank all of our guests for joining us and we're leaving you with the visuals of Eastern Saru's cranes being released in Thailand this is in a bid to revive the almost extinct species in the kingdom thanks a lot for watching